Okay. Gathering the world dragon souls? What are they trying to do? They can't be. Do they want to resurrect the world dragons? Use them against us? World dragons, eh? Hmm. Well, they've awakened the Draco Machina from their slumber, and now... I wouldn't put it past them. Remember, they've already used normal dragon souls for those damn experiments of theirs. Whatever they're doing, we have to stop them somehow. Um, sorry to interrupt, but what are the World Dragons? I still don't really know. Your Radiance does not know of the World Dragons? I keep telling you, I'm not the Shining Dragon. I've never heard of the World Dragons before all this. Well, you were cooped up in Gale Ritz for a while. I guess it makes sense you'd be out of the loop. Well, don't worry. I can give you a little private lesson if you ask nicely. Ah, uh, thanks. So, world dragons are basically the most powerful dragons there are. They've been around since the world began. There's five of them. The earth dragon, the sea dragon, the sky dragon, the dark dragon, and the good old shining dragon. But at the end of Ragnarok, the world dragons sacrificed themselves to seal Deus. Nothing was left of them but their souls. Yet thanks to the Armonix, the Shining Dragon lived on. Though his body was destroyed, his mind remained intact. There are seven Armonix in existence, all of which were created from the Shining Dragon's own body. Long before Ragnarok, the Shining Dragon created these Armonics and bestowed them upon the people as gifts. When the Shining Dragon lost his earthly form, the Dragoneers played their Armonics for him. With that power, he persisted. I had heard the legends of your survival, but to see you with my own eyes? Truly, I am not worthy of such honor. The point is, the World Dragons were the strongest of their kind. And that's probably what the Empire is figuring, too. But the Empire has the Draco Machina. And they aren't World Dragons, right? Oh, definitely not. The Draco Machina are dragons that fought on the side of Deus during Ragnarok. They say Deus created them, but their power practically matches the world dragons. They're kinda legends themselves. After Deus got sealed away, the Draco Machina basically went dormant. And now, Princess Excel has woken him up for herself. I think I get it. Legends say that Deus held power beyond any mortal, and aimed to use that power to reforge the world anew. The World Dragons rose to oppose Deus, with the Shining Dragon in their number, and so began Ragnarok. Besides the Shining Dragon, there are four other World Dragons. The Empire's got the Earth Dragon soul, so... at least three. That's assuming the Empire hasn't snapped up any others by now. Right. But it's not like they could get all of them this fast. It'd be great to get all three, but we need at least one. Hey, Lady Kirika? I don't suppose you know where we'd find a world dragon soul lying around? I cannot be certain, but I believe I know where to begin the search. The High Elves who allied with the world dragons would have honored their souls and kept them safe in shrines. 
Yet I fear they would be nothing but ruins after so many years undisturbed. As we have discovered no such sanctums in the kingdom so far, there must be ruins yet undiscovered in this land. If we aim to find the World Dragon Souls, I expect we will find them there. It's not a lot to go on, but it's better than nothing. Let's head into town and see what information we can dig up. Oh, my God.